Hi guys, before starting up the project, I would like to introduce you to a new member of my tool family, a wire stripper. You people have been asking me to buy this one, so I have bought it, link for which will be provided in the description. That's a hidden cutter if you can see, okay. Okay, now the stripping part. So with that being done, let's get started. Hi guys, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and this what you see is a part from an old photocopy machine or Xerox machine. So today I'm going to use this part to make a very strong electromagnet. So guys, as you can see all the inside parts of the DC clutch, well it's not a motor, it's only an electrical coupling part which contains a solenoid that pulls the metal piece towards the upper gear and locks it when it is provided with an electrical DC supply it's rated supply and here as you can see there is a metal piece in between and a plastic piece and a gear and uh, the label says that it is a 24 volts clutch but for an electromagnet I am going to use it at a much higher voltage input voltage Seems like it cannot cut smaller wires, so I will have to stick to my initial method. And yes, to increase the power of the electromagnet, I'm going to use two pieces, identical pieces, one behind the other. Now guys, you see this piece, its size and diameter is such that it perfectly fits the bore size of this DC clutch. You see, but it is like too fitting, a little loose. So for that, I'm going to place a little tape on it so that the fitting is more perfect. As you can see that the fitting is much better now. Okay. Now same for the other piece. Yeah, done. Now guys, this is an on off push switch. You see, and I've placed two zip ties in the hole. Okay, and these are the two switch wired. And here I have high pressure air compressor. So uh, like it was lying around not in use. So I'm using it just as a stick until I find a better use for it. Okay, so I'm going to place the switch like this. Okay, now comes our main part. So this, I'm going to place it like this. So as you can see that it is jammed on this perfectly super strong and robust and we have an on off switch here for ease and if we want to move it like this we can move it like this for comfort okay great 
now comes the connection part uh, as you can see that i have connected the two solenoids in parallel okay so that they can draw more current at lesser voltage in input voltage okay so now comes the wiring well guys right now as you can see that i am uh, like uh, placing the wires like this and then taping it okay and i'm not even placing the the shrink tube on it and there's a good reason for it because this is the dc clutch thing is a little new on my channel so i might just uh, break all this open to show or make up another project because of which I'm placing it like this but if I don't then I'm going to remove the insulation tape and place uh, the shrink tube. Okay, so you can see I uh, placed it as neatly as I could and I've told you the reason why I've not placed uh, the shrink tube or soldered the wires together or gone through all that. Let's see how it works out and then uh, think about those things. Okay, now we have to connect uh, the switch electrically to this wire, to one of the wires, anyone, okay. Let's cut off the wire from here, done. Let's cut it from here as well. Now this one. Well, now the setup is ready. All we got to do is test it. Okay. Now guys, here I'm giving it around 32 volts of DC supply and uh, the maximum capability of the supply is around 5.6 amperes. Although it is drawing only 0.3 amperes at 30 volts because of large number of turns or coils, solenoid coils. Let's see its electromagnetic power. See, and now I'm going to release it. Cool, right? You see, pretty good electromagnetic strength. Let's release the button. Now guys, I am doing the demonstration of picking up all this over here, but its main use because of which I have built it is metal sorf collector. Okay, uh, we have a lot of sorf left over from uh, like lathe and uh, drilling and even grinding. So what we can do is collect the sorf by activating the electromagnet at the end and then simply release the switch to place it in the basket or dust bin. So guys, this is my mini lathe. If you haven't watched its test video, it's the latest video available. So you can see there are a lot of uh, like sorf available over here. So I'm going to test this device with this. Okay, so let's begin. You see? It is so easy uh, to collect it from here and simply drop it. Well guys, these are a few things that I'm going to try and pick up with this powerful electromagnet. Although uh, the hammer is going to be pretty heavy. So let's place something beneath it. So here I've placed a green cloth. Let's try with this piece. You see? Pretty strong. This one too. Hacksaw. Cool, right? Now for the hammer, final piece. You see? Oh, it's going to break the tile. So as you can see that the electromagnet is super strong and can be used in many things. So guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Bye.